Hey guys, today uh, I'm with Oliver and we're heading to the National Gallery of Victoria to go see a Japanese exhibit called uh, Hokusai. It's a uh, hero right. day and it's Ollie's birthday. Oh yeah, how old are you turning Ollie? Uh, 24 today. Yeah, he's old. He old. And uh, do you feel any different? I feel sick from last night, but I'm okay. I feel good. I said that. Last night we went out for Ollie's birthday slash a friend's birthday as well and had a few too many beers and Ollie had to get up early to go to training and I like vomited in the shower. But you know, it should be a pretty good day considering. G'day travellers and Aussie abroad here. Let's jump right into it. Katsushika Hokusai is regarded as one of the most influential and creative minds in the history of Japanese art. His unique social observations, innovative approach to design and the mastery of the brush made him famous in the Edo period, Japan and globally recognized within a decade of his death. The self-described old man mad about drawing was known by at least 30 names during his lifetime and was renowned for his unconventional behavior. Despite his fame, Hokusai never attained financial success and his years of great artistic production were spent in poverty. He traveled and moved his resting place and studio regularly, finding inspiration for his unique style through his close observation of nature and interactions with ordinary people. <laughs> the exhibition that we're seeing, Hokusai, features 176 works from the Japan Ukiyo-e Museum, Matsumoto and the NGV collection that encompasses the artist's remarkable 70-year career. Born October 31st, 1760 and passing on May 10th, 1849, the Japanese artist was influenced by Seshu Toyo and other styles of Chinese painting. Born in Edo, now Tokyo, Hokusai is best known as the author for the woodblock print series 36 Views of Mount Fuji, 1831, the internationally iconic print the Great Wave of Kanagawa. Hokusai created the 36 views both as a response to a domestic travel boom and as part of a personal obsession with Mount Fuji. It was this series specifically, The Great Wave Print and Fine Wind, Clear Morning, that secured Hokusai's fame both in Japan and overseas. As historian Richard Lane concludes, Indeed if there is one work that made Hokusai's name, both in Japan and abroad, it must be this monumental print series. While Hokusai's work prior to this series is certainly important, it was not until this series that he gained broad recognition. At the age of 12, Hokusai's father sent him to work in a bookshop and lending library, a popular type of institution in Japanese cities, where reading books made from woodcut blocks was a popular entertainment of the middle and upper classes. At 14, he worked as an apprentice to a woodcarver until the age of 18 when he entered the studio of Katsukawa Shunso. Shunso was an artist of ukiyo-e, a style of woodblock prints and paintings that Hokusai would master and head of the so-called Katsukawa school. Ukiyo-e, as practiced by artists like Shunso, focused on images of the courtesans and kabuki actors who were popular in Japan cities at the time. After a year, Hokusai's name changed for the first time of about 30. It was under this name that he published his first prints, a series of pictures of kabuki actors, published in 1779. During the decade he worked in Shunso's studio, Hokusai was married to his first wife, about whom very little was known except that she died in the early 1790s. He was married again in 1797, although his second wife also died a short time after. He fathered two sons and three daughters with two wives, and his eldest daughter, A, eventually became an artist. Upon the death of his teacher in 1793, Hokusai began exploring other styles of art, including European styles. Hokusai also changed the subjects of his works, moving away from the images of courtesans and actors that were traditional subjects. Instead, his work became focused on landscapes and images of the daily life of Japanese people and a variety of social levels. 
36 Views of Mount Fuji is a series of landscape prints by Hokusai. The series depicts Mount Fuji from different locations and in various seasons and weather conditions. The series was produced from circa 1830 to 1832 when Hokusai was in his 70s and at the height of his career, out of which came the piece titled Wave of Kanagawa, which would become Hokusai's Pace de Resistance. At the time of its creation, the Great Wave of Kanagawa was simply one of the compositions comprising Hokusai's Mount Fuji series. With a short period of time, however, it became a favourite with Edo's print-loving public. The print was heralded by modern artists and thinkers in Europe, and during the 20th century, its status as arguably the single most famous image in all Asian art was established. In addition to the Great Wave's sheer graphic beauty, there is a compelling compositional force in its contrast between wave and mountain. The horizon has been lowered to emphasise the height of the monstrous towering wave, which stands in tense juxtaposition over the graceful lines of a diminutive Mount Fuji. The dynamic composition creates a coexistence between human frailty and the power of nature. We see tiny fishermen huddled in their sleek crafts right down one wave, dive straight into the next, and endeavour to come out the other side. That's about all I have time for today, travellers, so thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the Hokusai exhibit as much as I did, and as always, this is an Aussie Abroad, signing off.